Hey everyone, okay, so last time we talked about 3D Builder from Microsoft, and this time I'm talking about a little bit more in depth of one of the commands that I think got confused. When I mentioned splitting in the beginning, actually the lychee term for that command is actually called the planar cut. So, the planar cut is the tool that was being questioned, not splitting. Splitting is part splitting. Pretty sure everybody gets that one for free. I'm not really sure. This is the Jade Bunny. Again, we're working with a Gaz Mini because I love that stuff. It's amazing. Um, she's brand new. And she is, I've made her big. She's about 20 centimeters tall. Not supposed to be this big, but whatever. So I want to chop her into three parts because I certainly don't want to print her in one chunk. And I don't care about, you know, putting her back together and stuff like that. I don't really care about keys or anything. It doesn't matter. That's what glue is for. Um, so what I want to do is demonstrate how you would go about doing that if you were getting this ready for printing. Didn't really kind of cover this completely. So again, you're going to go split. You're going to keep both. Now, I want to make three cuts on this one. So we're going to make the first cut low. We're going to cut the feet. And we're going to do it right below that little pot there that she's carrying. It's like a dim sum pot. Probably got some food and just going on a picnic. Kind of makes me hungry. Anyway, um, so yeah, you want to make sure that you're not obstructing anything. So, like the hair, uh, the bottom of her little dress there. Again, you know, I made the demonstration last video where we talked about how that gun was kind of floating in thin air. You want to try to avoid situations like that. Um, that was a demonstration, but you really, you really do. You want to try to avoid it. Um, again, so we're going to cut her off about the ankle, right below the pot. Um, so that way we have a decent chunk at the bottom. That'll be her feet. Uh, then we're going to do the middle chunk, which will be the pot and part of her arm, but not her hair and upper chest and head. So, again, it's going to be three cuts. And then I'm going to show you what happens when you bring those into Lychee, whether you're going to work with the 3MF file or whether you're going to work with the STL file. And by the way, recently... It was brought to my attention that some a lot of folks don't even know what a 3MF file was. It is actually, I believe, the default file format for Microsoft 3D Builder. Pretty sure it is, or 3D, something Microsoft made, because um, I believe it's their extension. Uh, again, we're going to make another cut in the middle, but this time we're going to be cutting the upper piece that we've left. So we've got the feet there that are on their own. We're going to cut this and make sure not to cut any of the tips of the hair off because you don't want them floating. And try to get it above the skirt line so that way you're not cutting any of that um, seaming. Still going to be a pain in the butt to match that and, and make sure it looks good. But regardless, I now have my model split up into three parts. And now what we need to do is we need to be able to save this and then we need to be able to import this into Lychee and work with it. So you have a bunch of different options when you do this and uh, 3MF, FTL, STL, OBJ, those are some of those options. Um, I do it either as an STL or a 3MF file. And yes, sometimes when you do the splitting this way uh, in Microsoft, you want to go ahead and pull the parts apart. That way you can tell exactly what you're looking at. You can see what's been done. Uh, you can make sure that nothing's floating. Uh, that is a, always a good idea. When you save it like this, it's going to save all of these objects in one file. Now, if you do it as a 3MF file, when you import that to Lychee, Lychee will treat each one of those objects as a separate piece within that 3MF file because it openly understands that format. If you use an STL file, it's going to come out as one big chunk, and then you're going to have to use Lychee's split parts command. See, the confusion last time was we talked about splitting, because this is in Microsoft 3D Builder, this function that I'm showing you here is called splitting. In Lychee, it is called planar cutting. So there is a little bit of a difference there in how this is actually described in each software. So I do apologize if there was any confusion about the feature that we were actually talking about in Lychee versus the feature we were actually talking about 
in Microsoft 3D Builder. Okay, so in Lychee, once you get your files in, like I said, you're either going to have your Jade Bunny parts, like from your 3MF file that you've imported, and yeah, she's she's pretty big. Um, what a cutie, right? It's a great it's a great sculpt. Gaz Minis is amazing. You should definitely check them out. We're gonna put the the link in the description as always. Models model creators always get credit. Um, but as you can see, the parts are cut, nice smooth cuts. Um, nothing is floating, nothing is weird, everything is good to go. So these are all ready to go. Now if you import your STL, like I said, you're going to have a little bit of a different experience, but I'll show you guys that in just a sec. And um, let's get the file in there. And as you can see, the parts are just kind of floating in space because they're exactly where you left them. Because we saved it as an STL file, it's uh, static. So it doesn't understand anything other than that. So we're going to just go to the part splitting, split those, and it will split those into three independent parts. Because they are, and it, it understands that they are independent parts. And that's pretty much it. So anyway, that's the advanced version of the splitting versus planar cutting in Lychee. There, we explained the difference. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave us your comments. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give us a like. Uh, let us know what you think of the episodes. And don't forget to ring the bell if you want notifications on episodes like these or other ones that we do. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.